Hello guys, I'm here again to talk with you again about EV one more time, right? Because with the release of Blender uh, 4.2, I've been seeing lots of uh, feedbacks from the community, people using it, and in between the feedbacks, there are a few uh, comments for people that are kind of disappointed because if it doesn't support ray trace fully it's screen space ray trace okay for everyone that was following up uh what was going on and expected that so for those people that expected that like me ev surprisingly was better than what i was expecting at least in this first release okay we have lots of good things things that are working um uh, more predictably than the previous version okay and also we have there are many possibilities in which we can use it especially for animations i will not say for arcviz right now because this is a important limitation for arcviz unless you want to do something very specific in which your camera your camera doesn't translate too much from one environment to the other environment and th that can cause issues with light because light disappears uh, the light source disappears from the camera also the mirroring uh, the mirrors are not perfect okay if you have something that is very parallel to your camera it's gonna be blurry or it's gonna be distorted somehow okay so uh, but for other scenes, for lots of other scenes, it works well for animation, uh, for pre-visualization and things like that, okay? And I think that I, what I want to talk to you guys is, is that uh, don't be disappointed, right? Don't be disappointed. I know some of you expect something due to Lumen, due to all the technologies that you see out there. But I can tell from the papers that I'm reading from the Blender community that the Blender, the Blender Foundation is not behind it, okay? Uh, the reason that EV is released as it is now is because it's a step towards uh, what it can be done in the future, okay? So, and I want to show you so you can see what I'm talking about, okay? This is... Uh, this is the, the paper for what is expected in this release in EV and what is the goal, okay, for EV, for the next release, okay. This was released in July 11th, 2024, okay. And in here they mentioned the goals of EV, the, the things, uh, the people that are working on it, uh, especially, let me see here. Uh, Clement, Miguel, and Jerry. I hope I pronounced your names correctly. I also thank you for putting that amount of effort and release this version of Eevee, which is really good. I like it. I did a couple animations already, and it works great for the animations that I did. Okay, I really enjoy work with it. I want to work with it more. Okay. But for you guys that are worried about reflections, global illumination, because right now we have a screen space, ray trace, okay? For you that are, for you guys that are worried about this, I will tell you that based on what I'm reading here, and guys from Brandon Foundation, if you for some reason will be able to see this video, just correct me if I'm not wrong. The plans for the future are bright. For the future are bright, okay? Because if you read to the end and you see next steps, that's very important. This is the foundation of the new interactive lighting pipeline. In the next release, we can expect improved performance. That's great. Both for render and shader compilation. That is awesome. In this version, it already improved a lot because it's multi-core now but it still needs to be improved because sometimes it's painful to wait for, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, sometimes even five minutes till the shaders get comp 
compiled and that's not good okay but that's the that's the good direction right the good direction therefore and the most important for you that are worried about gi right now is in hardware accelerated ray tracing what does that mean hardware accelerated ray tracing this is combined with another project uh from uh blender foundation that it's ongoing uh, all together with ev you know what i understand about this is that they need to integrate ev and they need to release ev in something that people can use and has improvements com uh, very clear improvements compared with the previous version and also something that is rebuilt for the technology that is upcoming okay and what i'm talking about hardware accelerated ray tracing it it takes me to Vulkan project okay it's a project that's ongoing in blender which is changing OpenGL, which is now the base for the blender viewport and everyone else including Eevee, uh to Vulkan. okay and why is that important and why what does that uh what what is the relation of that with the ray trace with the global illumination reflection ray trace so if you go to a different paper okay this one which was released in uh, October last year, okay? And they are talking about the Vulcan updates, okay? And at the very end, okay, they mention why is Vulcan important, okay? After finishing the migration to Vulcan, the new development process can be started, okay? It's the new development process can be started. Utilizing the new available GPU features, Okay, here are some more examples. Here are some examples of projects that could be added to a future release of Blender. In one, in the examples, you can read this: improving the quality of EV by replacing, listen, replacing screen space effects with hardware ray tracing implementation. Okay, so if I'm not wrong, okay, whatever we have right now based on screen space is the beginning is the foundation it's something that they could deliver right now for us to use it but that's not the, the final goal the final goal is after Vulkan being fully implemented and uh, they and then all the new technologies available on GPUs that cannot be used for open in OpenGL anymore, just in Vulkan, will be in, will be implemented in Blender. So the reason that EV was rewritten, I think, was to be able to add Vulkan as a base, the main system, and taking advantage advantage of Vulkan. Okay, so as soon as Vulkan uh it's finished okay as soon as Vulkan is finished i think the next step will be with what we all are expecting which is uh ray trace in ev okay with hardware acceleration ray trace and that can take that can give us something similar to lumen or something to rtx ray trace that we see on video games i don't know but I'm I'm pretty confident that the Blender Foundation's guy, the guys, the developers, they they have that on mind and they are working hard on this. Okay, so I would say like take what you have now for EV and all the future, um, the next future implementations, next future uh, updates. Uh, because they are going to be improving it but keep in mind that the ray trace reflections and global illumination also shadows i don't know will be uh will be uh replaced in the field in, in the future as soon as Vulcan, as soon as Vulcan will be able to be used fully in blender okay and I don't think that it's a uh, long. It, it I don't think that will take that long, 
uh, even even the the Wukong project has been uh, started a while ago, but I think that the the foundation has to decide what things goes first, and uh, it it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that exciting if we have to wait for longer and longer until they release EV next with Vulcan because everyone will start to forget about EV would start not talking about EV not doing anything in EV anymore and that's not good right so they close something that makes sense for us now in EV but the future uh, is promising much more in terms of global illumination and reflections okay that for especially for us uh, Artists, it's something that uh, we expect. If we go, if we go to Vulcan development blog, so here you can see the last post was uh, from April, the April this year, April twenty fourth. Okay, so the guy that was helping into that was helping to implement it implementing Vulcan was working in EV next okay so he is saying here that uh, when we are able to start blender with the new render graphs that focus will move toward adding the newly introduced features that is required for EV next as i was how as, as i was helping our EV next i wasn't able to implement these features to the vulcan back end okay so the guy was working in EV. now he's going to be able to work in vulcan as well with all the uh, people from the team that are uh, doing this so i think that vulcan it's going on and we will hear more about it soon because they uh, are aware that what we expect and what they not the foundation but what them expect to bring into blender which is great which is great. I think that if Vulkan is fully implemented in Blender, Blender will be a step ahead, not from the competitors, but will be a step ahead in terms of performance and uh, enjoy in the way we work, uh, improving our uh, happiness, you know, with the results and, and how fast it could be, like so many other possibilities because right now uh, you can't implement it you, you can't have that much geometry in EV neither you can't in the past and now you still can't because of the limitations of OpenGL but with Vulkan implemented remember Unreal has Vulkan and is working uh, based on Vulkan so uh, all the nice and amazing features that you see in the real engine is just possible because of Vulkan. Okay, before Vulkan, there wasn't Lumen, there wasn't Nanite, none of those features. Okay, I think that was what make it possible in a real, and I think so. I think that is what will make it possible in Blender as well. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. It's more, more. It was more talking, but I think that for people that are really interested on it, uh, that helps you to think ahead and expect more things of coming into Blender in the future. Okay. I hope you guys use Eevee of uh, with what Eevee can provide by now and deliver nice things because I'm using it. I'm enjoying it a lot okay even with the limitations and yeah happy blending see you guys soon